Here are some other great videos from Cabin Fever Entertainment. It's the most popular movie series of all time. The greatest show in town. I mean, the greatest show in the whole world. Happy birthday, Mr. Hood. Happy Cabin Fever birthday, Entertainment is proud to present The Little Rascals on home video. These are the original Little Rascals. Now they're better than ever. For years, the Little Rascals have been censored. Some of their movies haven't been seen for decades. And previous video collections contained low contrast, scratched prints, ruined from years of neglect. Not Cabin Fever. These are all the original classics, uncut. Remastered from the Library of Congress's original 35 millimeter prints and restored to mint condition through a process costing nearly half a million dollars. All right, where are you guys? There's no down here except that It's all your favorite moments. Say, let's start a club right now. The even woman is. Don't call me Norman. Call me Chubby Ugly. And all your favorite rascals, even ones you haven't seen for years. Each volume is introduced by Entertainment Tonight's Leonard Malton, co-author of the book, The Little Rascals, The Life and Times of Our Gang. My Julius, my Romeo. The original Little Rascals, only from Cabin Fever Entertainment. stars have captured the public's attention from the earliest days of silent movies to the present day on television. But Hal Roach's Our Gang, known today as the Little Rascals, introduced an extraordinary array of talented kids in its 23-year history. Some of these youngsters stayed with the series. Others quickly moved on once their reputations were established. The first film in this collection, Hook and Ladder, features little Spanky McFarland in his scene-stealing period, and as his big brother, Dickie Moore who was with the Rascals for just one season before he took off for a long and successful career in feature films. He'd made his movie debut as a young John Barrymore in the 1927 movie The Beloved Rogue, and that was a portent of things to come, because in later years he'd worked with such top stars as Spencer Tracy, Gary Cooper, and Paul Muni. In 1942, a then-adolescent Dickie Moore gave Shirley Temple her first screen kiss in the movie Miss Annie Rooney. Our next film, The First Roundup, is from the period when the gang paired up Spanky with the adorable Scotty Beckett. They made a great team, and this is one of their best films, in which, as a kind of wise guy Greek chorus, they repeatedly have the last laugh on the big kids who see them as nothing but a pain in the neck. Scotty Beckett left the gang after two years to pursue a feature film career that paralleled Dickie Moore's in many ways. He too worked in major movies with the likes of Spencer Tracy, Errol Flynn, and Greta Garbo. He enjoyed continuing success in his late teens and early 20s, playing Elizabeth Taylor's brother in A Date with Judy, and a young Al Jolson in the hit film The Jolson Story. But one of the brightest stars of all the Rascals fared best as a long-term member of the gang, Carl Alfalfa Schweitzer. Teacher's Beau was his second appearance in the series and featured the seven-year-old doing what he'd done in his audition for producer Hal Roach, singing a hillbilly song with his older brother Harold. It was clear that Alfalfa was cute and had real personality. By the time our final short, Hearts Are Thumps, was made two years later, he'd also developed into a skilled comedian. 
Not only does this short allow him to sing, but also to react in a very funny way when something goes wrong every time he opens his mouth. In fact, Hearts Are Thumps, which features the unforgettable He-Man Woman Haters Club, shows the entire cast of rascals in peak form and reminds us what remarkable young people they were. To find out more about the amazing history of the Little Rascals and the remarkable kids who starred in this series, turn to The Little Rascals, The Life and Times of Our Gang by Leonard Malton and Richard W. Band. Its pages are crammed with facts, photos, and behind-the-scenes information on all 221 Our Gang comedies, with biographies of every Little Rascal and the story of what happened to them in later life. Ask for The Little Rascals, The Life and Times of Our Gang at your local bookstore, or have them order it for you. It's published by Crown.